What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to add shapes to your text to create something visually more appealing and make your text stand out and pop. Now let's get started. Now, if you enjoy watching these videos and you wanna see more like it, please subscribe to the channel because I'm constantly creating new content. So let's just say we have this video of this couple walking on the beach and I wanna add some cool text, but I wanna add some shapes and some color behind the text to make it stand out more. So let's head up here right now. We're in the editing workspace. I'm gonna move over to the graphics workspace. So now you have all these pre-made templates, but we're gonna start something from new. So let's come over to the type tool and I'm just gonna type beach just for generic. Let's bring it down here. And obviously that's fine, but I wanna have something that kind of pops out. So if I come up here to the top right to the essential graphics panel, and where it says beach, which is the title thing right here, come over to the bottom right and you're gonna see add a new layer. Click on that, it's gonna give you a couple different options. Let's just click on the rectangle and it creates just a general box you can kind of bring. And let's just say we wanna drag over it. Obviously that's not gonna work because if you come up here, it's showing that the shape layer is above the title layer. So let's just grab this and bring it down below. So then the title is on top of the shape. As you can see, the shape layer is activated because I have it clicked and you can see the gray bar there. Let's just come down here. So we have the gray color, which is fine. So if you want the shape to be a little more see-through, you can grab here to the right. You can see the transparency. You can lower the transparency so it's still there. And let's just say for the shape, we want to add a border to it. Let's click on here, the stroke, which is the border. We're going to bring this up to say 20%. So you're going to see a white border. Now you can add multiple strokes. So for example, if you want past the white, say you want another color, something light, come over here where the little plus sign, it says add stroke to this layer. So you're saying to this shape layer, we have the white stroke, but we want to add another one. So I'm going to click plus. Now you're going to see a secondary stroke here. Let's just say we want to have a nice little kind of a yellow color. We'll come down here and click OK. Now you don't see it because the first white stroke is at 20 and the yellow stroke is only at one. But as we drag this up, let's just say we leave it at 30. So now we have a border on the border itself. And you can add another one if you want to do another one. Or you can just subtract to say you decide you don't want that. You can obviously just uncheck it and it won't be active. But if you want to get rid of it completely, just come over here and click the remove the stroke button. So now you're down just to the traditional one. And then if say you want to do the ellipse or a different shape, you can come up here to the same button, new layer, and then do ellipse. It'll give you ellipse circle that sort of thing. I'm going to undo that. You can also come over to the tools panel and underneath the pen tool, you have the same rectangle and eclipse and you can just kind of create your own and then move it down the same way you did and then just adjust it from there. So that was one way to be able to add a shape or some color behind your text to make it pop off and separate from the background. Anyway, I hope this helped. And if it did, please give it a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. That being said, have a great day. Later. Later.